Okay, we're going to retire the old iPhone 3GS here that has a missing volume rocker. And I am just going to store it for now, but let's say that at some point I decide to get rid of it and the battery's dead. I just don't feel like, you know, finding, getting the information off of here. So I'm going to go ahead and clear it out now. As you can see, oops, this isn't it. As you can see, I've still got email in here from when I was using it before. And what I want to do is a reset of all my data. Uh, obviously, if you back up in iTunes, you can bring this data back, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for good. And in order to do that, I am going to go to settings, which I am not 100% sure where I have that hidden at these days. Not in here because I've been using There we go. And I'm going to go to general. No SIM card installed, no problem. Um, let's see what version I was on with this one. I think I'm on 4.1. Yeah, 4.1. I didn't. I just, I use this pretty recently. All right, and you're going to go here to reset. You're going to click on that. And you've got the choices reset all settings, erase all content and settings. That's what we're going to do. Uh, network settings, keyboard dictionary, home screen layout, and morning widgets. So. Anyway, uh, this will delete all media and data and reset all settings. Race it gives me a second chance and put out. We're done. And this takes a little time, uh, depending on the speed of the device on the 3GS and the 4. It's pretty quick on the original iPhone and the 3G. It's pretty slow. I actually purchased my wife a 3G second hand and the person had left all their details on there and I had to go through it and don't know why, but it took hours so but anyway that is a hard not not necessarily a hard reset but a data reset on the iphone 3gs thanks for watching